Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Curb Stomping Simulator, where we curb stomp everyone into oblivion while pretending to be a historically accurate representation of a Roman faction at 270 BC. Now of course today, as you can see, we are starting a brand new campaign as the glorious Scipii. And as you can see, the Scipii are, however, not quite the first rank, which makes them keen to prove themselves to the other families. So, we've got to prove ourselves to the Julii and the Snooty Brutii, as I like to call them. Uh, but yes, we have just finished playing a Parthian campaign, so do check that out in the description below. And because this is a brand new video, guys, in a brand new series, I'd love it if we could hit 20 likes on this video just to get that YouTube algorithm purring. Now, without further ado, let's get started and watch this brand new intro for the Scipii. Senators. What does it mean to be Roman? What makes us stand above all other peoples? Is it our bravery in the heat of battle? I say not, for the barbarian dares to attack us, knowing he will lose. Is it our piety, that we worship the true gods and earn their favor by our offerings? I say not. The Greeks, too, make great offerings to their gods, who are not so different to our own. Perhaps it is our worldliness, that we turn a profit in foreign lands. Again, I say not. Phoenician merchants are to be found in every port across the known world, and bring great wealth to Carthage. To be Roman is to exhibit all these qualities. Yet above all, it requires another. Obedience. To submit to just laws is the supreme Roman virtue, through which each man's selfish actions are combined into a perfect, unmatchable whole. Senators, I, Cornelius Scipio, ask you today to support a war that will bring Roman rule to new lands, that their peoples might understand true virtue, and the wealth of our citizens increase. The Roman way, above all others, is supreme. It is our duty and our destiny to bring it to the world. Yes, and that's what we'll be doing. I do like that. I like the ending of that intro, but it's not quite as epic as the original, in my opinion. I like the original, the, uh, the hatred it <laughs> has the other factions. The Carthaginian Elephant Riders is a particular favorite part of it. But yes. Here we are. Here we are. And just before we get going, guys, I do have a faction ranking video where I rank all the factions in this game, so do check that out. Um, but yeah, so here we are as the Scipio, Scipio. Um, first things first, we are not going to take Syracuse straight away because generally the Greeks like to remove um, some of their troops after the first turn out of Syracuse and have a look around, really. Um, I don't know what they do, why they want to take them out, but they do for some reason. So we're going to make our battle here a little easier. We're also going to general stack. I know that's cheap, but with general stack, we'll get two peasants. Um, and here at Capua, we'll get Astarte ready to go. And we'll send Gaius across to take Salamis. Now, building-wise, of course, we want a port in Capua. Get that money up. As you can see, our money worries are not great we are not in a great situation for money and masana we will get the militia barracks because syracuse yes syracuse only has a barracks so that means we can only recruit town militia there which is not brilliant really not ideal um so yes here we are fantastic back in rome again so nostalgic wearing my nostalgia tinted glasses uh, but yeah i believe that's the end of the first turn guys now the plan wise before we go into the next turn is of course we're going to take Carthage. We're going to take down Carthage as quick as we can. And when that's done, instead of worrying about this area and Spain, because Spain's shit in this game, we're going to try and go east, boom, and take these three cities off Egypt and destroy Egypt as quick as we can. Now in the Julii campaign, we were up here and we came down to Greece and took Greece and Anatolia. And that basically cut off the Brutii as well as taking some of this um, uh, barbarian land. And Greece is the richest area in the game. But I could do that as Scipii. But we've already done that as the Julii. So I'm not going to do that again. 
But instead of that, we'll go after Egypt. Uh, but that's a long way away. First, we've got to take down Carthage. But yes, let's end the turn. Greetings. Trade rights? Oh, okay thanks. then, Greece. I accept. Oh, they yeah, they, you can see. They took a few. They took a load of units out. You can see this guy, though. Dionys Dionys Dionysios of Sparta has a lot of uh, a lot of unit general bodyguard but we have Cornelius who has 48 now I'm not really that bothered if we lose Cornelius because um, he's old he's old anyway he's 54 he will die very soon unfortunately for him it's true I wonder whether this exploit works oh my god how have they not fixed this in case you don't know guys if you add someone to a ship, this is how much it thinks it can move right now because it's added to the movement of these guys. But if you just go onto the ships and do that, you can move a lot quicker. Yeah, now it's kind of confused as to why it's so gone so far, but yes. So that means we can get there in two turns rather than three. I'm going to try and avoid exploits too much in this game, but I just know so many um, that it's hard to... Yes, let's carry on. I think that's the end of turn two. Um, we do still have the spy in here, but he didn't... Oh, he did open the gates. That makes things very interesting indeed. I could block the gates with their uh, hoplites, but I don't think the AI is that smart. So let's go. Dionysus. Dionysius. Dionys Dionysios. You shall die. On top of that, guys, we will be listening to the Roman speeches nearly all the time probably not later on because we will have heard them all by then but early game we'll listen to them because they are epic they are really epic and i'm sure you agree um with that sentiment and it's worth listening to them they are they're just fun interesting we'll hear cornelius speak and he was the person that was speaking in the intro so let's hear what he has to say the omens have been better but i dismiss those priestly naysayers they are holy men not warriors and a warrior makes his own fate. There stand the Greeks, ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. We are here to do one job. Prevent them from taking the town at all costs. These people have never fought us before. Let us shock them so much that they never wish to fight us again. And before we start, just remember, they are more scared of us, true Romans to a man, than we are of them. Is that it? Cool. Uh, one thing I forgot to say about the intro, guys, as well, is the interesting thing with it. Um, send you three around this way. They probably will stick a hoplites there to block that entrance um well those gates are far away as well these two gates are quite close actually so what we'll do is bring you guys around here we'll have some velites two units of these guys um one general send this general up this way i did one and we'll send uh, probably the archers up this way we just need quick units to get up on the walls and take the towers and then two units of Hestati over here one thing we've got to be really wary of is I'm very hard at the early start of this game guys the Hestati do have poor morale they will just break if their general charges them charges us uh, hello do you have any troops what have you got archers on the wall I don't like that doesn't look like you have anyone here, so we'll bring you archers up onto that wall. What have you got round here? You've got your general and your militia hoplites. Right, we won't move that Hastati unit then. This Hastati. Get in there. Yeah, we need... If they're coming off the walls, that makes our job a lot easier. Are they going through? Are they going through? Okay. Uh, that's fine. Good thing they haven't left their hoplites here. See, we want to just reduce the arrow tower's power as much as possible because they are very powerful. You'll watch our troops dropping like flies now. 
uh, trying to get up onto the walls. You guys forward a little bit, just so that they still think we're a threat. Right, guys. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough getting uh, these guys off the walls. These are, this is starting you might even break. Because they're, they're halfway through. Why have you pathed like that? So annoying. If we go from that way, though, yes, we will. Oh, no, they're pathed all the way through. Come on, guys. I know it's tough. They're eager still. Come on, that's good. Hmm. Where are these archers? Can you get up there, please? Come on. Stop these bloody towers firing at us. Come on. Oh, the pathing. Come on, guys. One of you, just go through the gates. Oh, my days. Are you joking me? Should be destroying these guys. Our soldiers have captured Steady. the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Oh my god. Can you get through that side, maybe? Oh, apparently we've captured that gateway. But at least get up onto the gate so that I can come through with Cornelius. I don't know how we've captured that gateway. How are you guys doing? You're still steady. Might have to bring the general in at some point just to kill the rest of these guys. Uh, just to make sure they don't break. As soon as they start wavering, we will. But yes, we are shredding them. A few guys falling off the walls. Yeah, they will uh, break them. Ah, fantastic. Right, get through here. Which way are we going to go around to the town center square? This way, probably. So actually, come this way. Probably get over to their archers. Get the general stood here. He won't take any losses. Um, how are we looking over here? Where is the general? He's just stood there, which is fine. Right, we killed all these archers. Yes, the gateway is ours now. So, Astarte. Velates, you get up on the walls. We want that Astarte unit back down. Um, and we'll bring the general, other general through. Could also do with you guys getting around here. Okay, they're moving that militia hoplites. That's great for us. One of you has started to get on the wall. Stop those towers from firing. Um, archers, where are you? You can get around all the way to there so we can link up our generals. That would be excellent. I mean, we can bring one general through here, but it's fine. Well done, Hastati. You've done a good job. You can now get off the walls. Yeah, these guys are going to take a bit of damage. Oh, it's just tabbed out. Why has it done that? That's weird. Oh, well. Come on, one of you get up on the walls, please, ASAP, so we stop taking damage. We're losing troops here for no reason. Okay, these guys are no longer losing troops. Velites, get up on that wall, take that tower. Just don't want to take damage, actually. No, get up here, please. They're moving the, that guy a bit. So once you are round to here, we can move that general around. Problem is, that general, this general, like, on very hard, is stronger than you think. That's why I'm being overcautious. Um, and then I would like you to run around that way. Because that's where we're going to link up all these Hastartes. In fact, all you Hastarti, fire at will, please. I don't want to have to worry about turning you on and off. You guys get here. You guys get behind them if you can. General, sit there. Where are the Velites? Get that tower. Oh, yes, that's why we need you to get through there quickly. Stay there, actually. Or there, away from the wall. Yeah, you see, you see the power of the arrow tower in this uh, in this game. It's incredibly strong. So once that guy's through that, yes, that's ours now, isn't it? What are you doing? Why will you? Why do you path like this? Now, Velates, get there. You can fire at will. Get off that. They should be firing at them now, which is excellent for us. Where's their general? There he is. Yes, you archers, you have done an excellent job. Get through to here. 
Uh, it triggers me every time I hear that uh, Archer Tower sound. Um, okay, General, you might need to come through this way, actually, as quick as you can. Okay, they're going to uh, just get into the back of them. They're eager still. Shaken, they will break very soon. Although our guys might break as well. Probably, yeah, there they are, there you go. You guys get there. We have fire, actually. Don't really need the Velites anymore. So just stop firing. We'll probably lose a few to our own Arch Towers hitting us now, which is, that's the annoying thing. Let's get down there. Let's get here if you can. It'd be excellent. Oh. Nope. Get out. Fact, if you can try and sneak past them by getting down there, that would be awesome. Now, you two units, bring you up. Um, the 42, the unit of 42. And you behind. Yeah, nicely snuck through there, fantastic. That is a proper unit for Hoplites as well, and the, the uh, Hoplites are actually generally pretty strong. You guys are on fire at will, right? Yes, fantastic. Right, all these javelins going into this uh, general's bodyguard should be enough to kill him because he will probably charge us. And then we'll bring you through to here as well. If we can even get on the town square. I know it seems like we're being overcautious, guys, but this army really needs to survive well to take on that uh, the army that's in the Lily Bayern because it's got elephants and one unit of elephants could destroy this army by making them all rout. <laughs> Generally. Right then, let's get this uh, starty contingent out to there if we can. Two generals can come here. That would be excellent. How tired are you? Starting to get a bit tired, so we could rest them a little bit, but I, uh, we don't need to. I am very worried about that general, because these Astarte will just rout, which is so unfortunate. Um, because they are a strong early game unit, they're just a bit trash when it comes to morale. And we want to route that Hoplites rather than kill, kill it in every single way. Well, here they come, the general. And we need to make sure we don't get sandwiched. So, yeah, let's see what they're going to do. I mean, okay. We'll just retreat to here. Fine. <laughs> Stupid hoplites. Okay, you want to charge my generals? That's fine with me. Get out, get out there, Cornelius. Come on. Get in there. Should be able to fire your javelins now, right? Got to kill most of them. Oh god, that's a mess. That was not a good charge. But we should be shredding them. Nope, I guess not. Be wary of that hoplites. Oh, firing on the hoplites now. Get into there. Right, you guys get out if you can. Hopefully, you don't die on the retreat. You guys get there as well. Right, get in there. Same as you guys. Rally. I can see where you are. Okay, one general's there. I don't know where the other one is. We will route this Hoplites quite easily. They are a good unit though. So we've got to be wary about them. If our general dies... That could be a big issue for our Hestati. There we are, that's good. That's their general, not ours. Nope, stay out, stay out, guys. Do not charge that Hoplites. Okay, there we are. Fantastic. They did inflict 259 casualties. A lot of those will be from those Arrow Towers initially. Uh, but yes, 80 by that Hestati. Well done. I'm guessing that was the one that killed the, um, the Archer unit. But, okay result. Okay result. Not brilliant, but yes, we conserved our troops the best we could, really, I think, in that situation. Um, and none of our generals died, which is always good on the first battle of the campaign. <laughs> Victory! 
Um, and of course, we will enslave, get our population growth, uh, population growth going. That should prevent provide a boost here. Uh, no, I'm guessing next turn it will. What about Rasana? Yeah, slavery plus because it's got a road connection, but the port connection. Ah, it's to Tarentum. If it was to Capua, it should provide that benefit. Cornelius Scipio as an exotic slave. Um, 10,000? Bloody hell. I did, they changed that. That's a ridiculous amount of money to give us early game. Like, right at the start. Well, okay. I'll take it. Uh, now, Masana, what do we want to do here? Could go for a stables. We're getting the barracks in Masana, so let's go for a stables. So we can recruit some equites here. And, of course... Get a peasant. Poor Greece. If the Greece offers us a ceasefire, I think we'll go for it. Um, yes, we have got two turns until we can we can retrain these guys. So, hmm. merge you. Ah, oh, that was the wrong way around. No, it wasn't. I wanted to give them both experience, but I guess that's not going to work. No, it hasn't. Okay. Merge the other way if you can. Okay, don't merge the other way then. That's fine. I didn't want you to anyway. <laughs> oh well. Um, yes, cool. Let's send you out. Looks like Lilibium is pretty unprotected. But, of course, this army is good. Ah, you know what we'll do? We will now we have some money. Get these guys. These guys are trash, but the Hoplites are good. So, they should do well against the elephants. So, let's end the turn, see what happens. Ah, Julie, I have taken Suggester. Well done, Julie. I. You're actually doing something for once. We'll be rewarded with one of the best units I can recruit, which I'm guessing is a Hastate, because that is the only real unit that we can recruit. Greece hasn't asked for a ceasefire, and they've decided that it's a good idea to just stand right in front of us. So... Let's go. Silly Greece. Why would you walk about my lands creating devastation? You dickheads. You're going to get smashed to pieces. Smashed to absolute pieces. Fantastic. Yes, let us smash them. And clean up the Greeks in this area of the world. Which is fantastic. We'll also listen to the speech again. Once again, Cornelius. We'll probably use our cavalry nearly exclusively the in this battle. The have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing could be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. Today we face those masters of lies, falsehood, and perversity, the Greeks. Beware of victorious Greeks, for they show little mercy. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. We go now to our bloody business. Way fantastic. Good little speech again. We'll try and use the mercenaries as much as we can. And the missile troops. They don't. Did they have? I think they had pelt hasts. But if we can kill them just with our missile troops and not take any other losses, that would be amazing. Where are they? Oh. You think you're on a hill, do you? Fools. Generals, let's go. I want to take out... Are they archers or peltas? Oh, peltas, so we shouldn't have to worry about them too much. Come on, skirmishers, let's go. Actually, we will keep you on skirmish mode because I might make a micro mistake. And at least they will run away then slightly. If I can, I can route those Peltas just by charging them once, I believe. So we'll try and get through, charge them. I've just got to be wary of the pikes here. Nope, they're going to run. Okay, don't run into the military hoplites, you fool! You might die here. Do you understand what I'm saying? You might die from militia hoplites. Uh, I'll 
should say hoplites really as well. We can charge them in the edge of their unit and not worry too much. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah, we can make them run away from their own troop support. Which will be excellent. Do not be impetuous on me. You're Roman generals. Come on. You guys get forward. I'd like to hit that hoplites if we can. Rather than the militias. Because the militias will just run if other units are routing. Them. Shoot them. Nice. Oh my god, how fast are these guys? They're shaken already though. They should just break now. Yep, get rid of them. We've got to get 85%. Get rid of this army. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. What is the AI doing in this situation? But then again, what do they do? Like, if you were playing as them, like, how would you win this battle? It's pretty much impossible, isn't it? Right, get back here. You can. Keep them uh, at arm's bay. At arm's length away. Fantastic. Skirmish these guys to death. Oh, they, they've come back. Why have you come back? You, you know what's going to happen. They're really upset now, aren't they? Yeah, just clean the rest of that unit up. I think the do here is to get the uh, militia hoplites. We might even charge the peltasts in. Speed, slow it down a little bit. They're wavering already. Get close and they might even just break. Get, get in under those pikes. Yep, they're broken. Go through. Right, now it's the hoplites that we've got to worry about. How are they looking? They're eager still, which is embarrassing for them. <laughs> Don't know how they're eager. They should not be eager at all. <laughs> Keep firing, guys. Not really doing much damage. These Roman, the early Roman archers are really trash. Are, we, are you going to break if we get overwhelming force nearby? Probably. Problem with charging pikes, even if you charge them in the back, you will lose some troops. Right, well, they've turned. Charge them. Oh, they broke. Fantastic for us. You guys get out and you guys run away so you stop firing. It's just the easiest way of stopping them firing. Nice. Well done, guys. Did we take any losses? We took three losses. Yeah, five. Nice one. Well done, generals. Archer's doing well. Velite seven. That just shows you how shit the Velites really are. Seven. <laughs> that is so bad. Seven. <laughs> Even the Peltas got bloody 35 or whatever. Seven. Oh, my days. That is a poor showing, my boy. Um, now, do we think we can beat that army with this army? It'll be, it will be really close. The Iberian infantry are trash. They can get charged by the cavalry and will just break. The Midian mercenaries are annoying though, and we only have two units of cavalry. Um, but do we wait? How many more turns is it? It's one more turn. I think we go retrain these guys. Two units of peasants there. I think we do go retrain them. We might as well. Uh, just so we've got a full unit against those elephants. Capua building has completed. Now, go for a shrine to Saturn. That's the law one. We don't want law in the capital. We don't need it. Um, let's have a look at what our temples do, shall we? So, this one upgrades weapons and armor. So, we, yeah, it's going to be that one in the capital. And Neptune, we're probably going to stick Neptune all around Sicily. Basically, because law won't be an issue, because Kappa is going to remain the capital the whole way through the game, just for law purposes. Um, and we can use it as our naval recruitment center. So, yes, Kappa, let's go for that. That'll allow us to upgrade some of our units. 
Let's come here. Oh, bollocks. Well, it's going to take us three turns anyway then to move there, unless we can get these guys off the boats. No, we can't. Good job we didn't declare war on them straight away then. Right. You? Yeah, 70% you're happy. Two peasants. Fine. Let's go. Cool. That takes settlement Lily by him. Yes, we know. Oh, Capua grows already. Well, it was a good job uh, we uh, upgraded that then to get the armor upgrade and stuff. Okay. Yep, yeah, you're going to get retrained. Do we need some Hastati from Capua now? Don't believe so. Masana. Right, next thing for Masana should be a port to get our money situation going up again. And of course we're gonna retrain a we're gonna train a Hastati and also retrain these guys, and that should be enough to kill these filthy Carthaginians. Now you, Gaius, my friend. The one thing they might do is go and siege down Syracuse on Masana, which would be excellent for us. We'll go and kill these units. Fantastic. Take Salamis. Salamis is ours. We'll get to hear Gaius' speech. And Gaius always ends up being called Gaius the Harsh for some reason. Because um, <coughs> it says he's an authoritarian. So he should have a slightly different style of speech to Cornelius. Um, yes. Excelente. Our second conquest of a city. Today we go against the Carthaginians. Their foul baby killing is only the start of their wickedness. So beware. In victory, they are cruel beyond words. So let your battle cry be victory! Victory and glory to Rome! Well, I guess he must have another trait that's like. I wish we could see traits in the uh, in the map, but no, we can't. Uh, where? Right. Well, you guys, there. Please, and you there. They're probably just going to camp in the town square, which is bad for us. Uh, I wish I could have charged these guys with my cavalry early on. Should have thought about that. So that means it's just going to be a grind fest, just grinding these guys to pieces. Hopefully we take minor losses, but I don't know. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Speed it up. We'll just surround them. Throw our javelins as much as we can. Over there. Get here. All on fire at will, so you should fire your javelins, which will be excellent. And then we'll charge our general in. They might charge us, which will be fine because he's going to be off the square then. Because that means we don't need to grind them to pieces. Uh, general, let's go. So we can get in the back of there. We lost a couple of troops in that, which is a bit annoying. Get your rally off so that you don't die in the charge. Yeah, kill all them all while they're routing. Come on. That's him dead. Awesome. That should be them dead now. These guys should break straight away, surely. Get in the back. Get in the back. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all before they come back from routing. Yes, that's them dead, surely. Oh my god, we're shredding them to pieces. Don't even think... They've not killed anyone for ages. 66, though. God, Astarte, come on. I used to like you. I thought you were strong. I guess not. There we are. Fantastic. We lost 20, killed 200. I mean, that's how it should have been. Can't believe you lost 14 men though, Astarte. That's poor. Yeah, well done, General. Doing the best again. Our General early game is so strong. I mean, all the Generals are pretty strong early game. But especially the Roman ones. I mean, the Eastern ones with their Javelin throne though. That, yeah. That's something else. But then the Armored Eastern General, then they become cataphracts. Jesus. Now that is something to behold. 
War with Carthage. Fantastic. I love it. Now, Carolus. Let's get you. Now, what do we want to do here? Should probably reinforce you with a couple of Astarte. And get this uh, ship back across while we wait here for a couple of turns. And... Oh, we could... So we could get them across to Lily by him. But no, I think we'll recruit some Hastati there and, and get them across then. First things first, how are we doing? Where is our spy? Yeah, he's there. Awesome. Okay, Syracuse has gone unhappy because they've put a spy in it, I'm guessing. Right then. Oh, we have another general. Oh my god, that's a bit too much general stack, isn't it? But we might need it against those elephants. When we have done that, I will stick Cornelius in Syracuse because we don't we won't need him anymore. Um, let's come out of Masana. How's Masana thinking? Fine. Can you go high? Yeah, actually, we're making money now, so I'm tempted to keep you on low. Same with you in Syracuse. What? Why do you keep giving me this? Oh, eight turns remaining. Okay, fair enough. Aulus, though. Let's have a look at you, Aulus. Let's see what you're like. Doubtful courage. So we need to get you into a battle to prove your courage. Um, you are judgmental. So that's unrest. So you're neither good at fighting or in a city. So not great. I don't know why you have doubtful courage, though. You haven't fought any battles yet. Syracuse has stables. Right, let's start recruiting Equites. Upgrading the stables doesn't really do anything for us. Let's go for the trader. Uh, Carolus, we built that. Do the roads... Hmm, do the roads actually do a, make a difference in this? Yeah, no, they don't. It says... Okay, I guess we will do that because the next one will increase trade income. Nope, that's not worth it. We'll get that to get the uh, money and the uh, income. Right then, let's go and test our metal against these Carthaginian bastards with their elephants. That's, it's going to be tough fighting that elephant. They are they are bonus against cavalry as well, so our general's not going to have a great time against him. Although, if we kill Hanno, he is the faction leader. So, and also Cornelius has five influence, so he should have a good job um, fighting uh, fighting these guys. Um, he should keep the Hastati in line. Let's hear his speech as well. This should be a good little speech against the Carthaginians. His first battle against them. So it will be nice to hear what he has to say. Let's hear. Our enemies await. It would be rude to keep them waiting. So let us see how they like good Roman steel. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? This army is fully one quarter of all our warriors. Imagine how we look to our enemies and take heart from that thought. Our people expect great things of us, and we are the men to do great things. Is that it? Fantastic. Great speech again. Not a great battle map, though. <laughs> oh, this is Austerlitz. Playing the battle map of Austerlitz. Uh, right. Well, what we need is to make those elephants run amok. So what we're going to do is send the archers forward with the generals. First of all, we'll see whether we can snipe. Oh, we have peasants here as well. You can stand. Uh, no, peasants go away because if you route, other units will route. We use the hoplites against the elephants, so we want them to be able to move quick. Get you on that. We actually can't see them. That's one issue. If we can't see them, we will move these guys up the side of the hill. Relates, get in front. Hoplites. You guys actually do not run. Oh, there the elephants are. Right, we want you to go after them. Bring 
now, General, this way. You need to make them run amok with your flaming arrows, please. That's all their cavalry, so I'm guessing their infantry is hiding in front of them here. They do need you to run, actually. Yeah, that, is that the rest of their infantry? Come this way, archers, will you? Oh, no, you can actually fire at them now, can you? Uh, are you going to charge your elephants into me? That would be annoying. Uh, no, they're going to charge the elephants. Ah, oh, come on. Get away from those Ellies. Catch these round shield cavalry, and we should shred them. All right, get off that. I want you to kill them. Watch out, Hanno's coming. Oh, God. We're sandwiched like hell. Get out, get out, get out, guys. Get some of those arrows off, though. They're not going to run straight away, are they? Okay, we managed to get out of that relatively unscathed, to be honest. Um, you get in there. Who's firing javelins at us? Peltas, I'm guessing. Those archers are going to go. Why are they charging the Namidian mercenaries in? That's crazy. Oh. Oh. This will surely dishearten all your Get in there. Followers. Get in there. We're losing the cavalry battle quite considerably here. You guys get across it as soon as you can. That's them all going. Come on, generals. You fools. We can win this still. Right, Cornelius, come back. We're going to have to use the infantry properly. We're lucky that they didn't all die there, to be honest. Oh... Can you rally? You round shield cavalry will die actually to us now. Surprised you've not come back yet. Okay, bring your elephants, that's fine. We'll route the rest of your army. Get out, get out. Fire at them. Elephants are moving relatively quickly, quicker than I expected. They brought them out further than they should do. Really? No, no, no! Do not charge the elephants, you idiot! All us, you are a fool! You're f the rest of the family was right. Right, get in phalanx. Come on, fire at them. You guys, of course, should be on fire at will. Come on, guys. You're not going to beat them, but you can try. Oh, get your pikes down. They do so much more damage. Come on! Fire! Right. Well, that was a bit of a shock, I've got to say. Uh, their cavalry absolutely shredded us. So, we did a poor job there. Get in get in there. Shoot, shoot these elephants. Our cavalry needs to be up here to support our infantry. If we can make them run amok, that would be amazing. Oh, they have lost. They've lost an elephant, which is good. What? You can't fire from there, Velate. Surely not. Who are you? Ground shield cavalry. We'll have a field day against you, especially if these guys fire their javelins in time. Oof, that was a good charge, though. Right now, we need to get out and uh, charge in the back of Hanno. Well done, units. You guys get in there. Oh, did you see that cavalry charge? That was absolutely brutal. Come on, come around, guys. Okay, get in there, then. You fire your things there. We just need to slow that cavalry unit down, really. Make them run amok, will you? You need all to fire your uh, javelins at him. Could save them. But I don't think that's going to work. This battle has been very messy. Got to say. The uh, Velites are running. Right, let's get in there. These elephants could be the death of us here. If this general dies though, we might work. He's broken. Let's go. Kill him. Yes! Come on! Told you this. This army is, is tough to beat. I need to get out. Oh my god, the elephants are coming. What's this? Astarte. Get out there. Velites, we need you right now. Please fire your javelins. It's the only thing that's going to work. You will break, very likely. Oh, they broke! Kill them! 
Go, 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 go. The rest of you guys, let's go. Hanno is dead. We have this. We have this. We should beat that. You should beat that guy. They're broken. They're not running amok and they're broken. That's better. Right, get up to the slingers because I don't want to lose troops to the slingers. The Namidian mercenaries are incredibly... Actually, no, get into those elephants. They shouldn't kill you when they're routing, I don't believe. Uh, that way, please. Do, are you losing troops? I don't believe you are. Yes! Did you kill the slingers? Right, get into those Numidians. Uh, go after the Iberian infantry. Those Iberians are going to have a tough time getting back up. Right, you guys stay here. Tell you what, we'll go after the elephants. They're routing. These Namidians, they're broken as well. Oh, if we can kill the rest of those elephants, that would be good. Ooh, they still have a lot of troops left. You guys can all route. I'm, I'm happy for you to route. Oh, wow, that was a mess of a battle. We, we started it terribly. Um, but yeah, get after those elephants if you can. Kill them all. Because they won't come back. Come on, one more. Come on then. You want sham? You want sham, mate? Uh, right, you guys in there. Can you rally or not? Only Cornelius can rally. That's unfortunate because you might die in this charge. Shh. Cornelius, please don't die. Oh no, we, we'll rally Cornelius so he doesn't die. We also need to make sure that we kill the rest of this unit. 30% left. We need to kill 15 more, more of their... Uh... Yes, he stops. That should be them broken. Yeah, fantastic. Come on, kill the rest of them. We'll bring you back up. Because you need to charge down these guys. Oh my god, that was a mess of a battle. That was not done very well by me. <laughs> Unfortunately... Oh well, we still won it. Are you withdrawing or what? Yes, you are. Right then. Charge them with the Hastati. Alright, let's go. Continue. Ah, we, we should uh, have destroyed this army now then. Oh. I was worried then the four notifications that these guys had died. I was so lucky there. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised they didn't die in that surround. Oh, wow. Poor from me, but at least we won. And we killed all those elephants. I'm surprised they routed, really. They only killed 51. It was the general's bodyguard that was doing all that damage. You can see how powerful the general's bodyguard is now. Um, but yeah. Okay, Felite is 32. Well done, guys. Roman archers, shite. Um, Hastati. Yeah, not doing brilliantly, but general's pulling through for us and surviving which is the important thing oh that was that was squeaky bum time for, for quite a while there jeez jeez it was very very sketchy at one point Victory! yes we have won and we should take lily by him reasonably easily um the question is now do we send anyone back for retraining can we recruit any mercenaries how about if we come across here? Can we recruit any mercenaries? No. So I believe we should send a couple back for retraining. We've also got these equites on the way, which is fine. Uh, yeah, Cornelius. And we need to get Cornelius out, really, because at this point, he's taking retinue that um, Quintus should be getting. So, yeah, we'll take him out. What do they have? Well done, Aulus. You're doing well. They do have a general inside, but only skirmishes. Sana, you're building, you're building, you're building, you're building. Fantastic. I think that's everything. Um, one more unit of Astarte, and we'll get them across to Carolus, and then we'll do a double assault on Carthage. Oh, well, that battle was really scary for a couple of moments there when the... When that, that uh, elephant charged us down, 
I was I was very much thinking that we were gonna lose. Okay, we can do a draw out battle. No, nope, we can't. Well, ah, uh, we can't even get there. They ran away. They are stuck on movement though, so next turn we should be able to do a bit of a draw out battle there. Although they might recruit retreat inside the city. Well done, Masana. You have built a port now, so yeah, money is situation's good now. I would like the archery range. Can we get that without a city? No, we need a city for it. So we should really get that in Syracuse. Um, so I think that's the next thing we'll build in Syracuse will be that. Now let's go for population growth and money. That was the only thing that built. Got the Hastati in Capua. Alright, let's go. Um, do we wait one more turn? Can we recruit a peasant in Carolis yet? No, we need put you down to low we might be able to recruit a peasant next turn i think it's 40 that you need oh my god what's happened here i'm gonna have to get um admiral Aulus from the right right i don't know how that worked or how that happened but it did <laughs> uh, julia that's my land please thank you yeah we'll, we'll retrain these guys before going across to um, Carthage, maybe, maybe a couple will send these like two units back, but the rest of them should be good. Ah, the diplomat, I forgot about you. I will We're neutral. Trade right. A most generous Let's proposal. Have a map info for map info, the classic trade. Would you consider? No, I wouldn't Until consider next that. Time. So no, I think the next people we want to trade with Spain because they have some nice. Um, we're not going to be at war with them very soon. And they have some uh, nice coastal provinces. Uh, then probably Egypt. But that's too far away for our diplomat to walk. Uh, yeah, maybe Germania and the Bretons. Because they do have coastal provinces. But it's a big, long trade route that, all the way through there. But yes. Um, also, yeah. Still do this. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic bit of game gaming the game there. Send the turn again. Ah, it starts been okay. A few turns in. I can't remember five turns, four, four or five turns in now. So yes, doing okay. Carthage has a agent somewhere in Masana. I'm guessing they've been kicked out. Construction. Oh, Capo is upgraded. Fantastic. Now let's start getting the market so that we can get the academy. So that all our new protégés get some good traits. Syracuse got the trader. Let's go for that so that we can get the archery range. Uh, and Carolus, I don't believe that will help, but it will help on the next level. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a while before Carolus gets upgraded. Oh, we can destroy you as well, so let's do that. Uh, the one issue, I will take you off the ships for this turn. Can we recruit peasant now? What do we need? 60 maybe? Maybe we can next turn. Because it means we're going to have to leave our starty behind if not. Which I don't want to do. Oh, they br they keep bringing armies. It's fine by me. You siege them down. Ah, uh, we've blooming heck. Because we're next to the city, we can't move again. That's incredibly infuriating. Can we not? Oh, the gates are open. Right, we'll go take it then. Probably just do it with the generals, really. Um, this is uh, Quintus's speech now. So we'll hear someone different doing a speech. Although it is the same voice actor, I believe. Uh, but yeah, Quintus's speech. So it should be slightly different from Cornelius's in terms of the style. Although Quintus is probably Cornelius's son. So it might be very similar. We'll see. I don't know what trait Quintus has, though. We can have a look uh, after this battle. Let's listen. There have been many portents, both good and bad. With such confusion in the heavens, it is up to us to forge our own destiny. Today we face the mighty Carthaginians. 
brave men and worthy foes. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Today, the carrion birds feast, but they will feast upon our enemies, not on good Roman flesh. Cool. Quintus is, is Quintus's speech is metal. <laughs> so all they have is a general and some peltasts. So um, we need to kill them both. Yeah, we'll leave you guys on this side. Where are those peltasts? Oh, they have reinforcements today. I didn't even realize that. And what are those reinforcements? May I ask? Town militia. General, general. And we'll have the town before then. Uh, where's the general? Okay, you want to go into the city square. Right, cavalry, that's your job then. Oh, we can't really leave these guys behind. They'll break. You know what? We'll come through. Bring you guys through as well. And then we'll bring archers. the archers, the hoplites. We want the hoplites to, okay, you guys actually run. To take the brunt of the attack by the general. Where's the Astarte? Let's put you on fire at will. Our soldiers have captured the walls. You guys get there. Now is the time to press on Archers, you can do place. some damage if you want to. General, oh yeah, General's here. Mm. Those guys are going to break, aren't they? <laughs> Problem we have is, are they coming this way, which is interesting. Starty, let's get up there. Velite, you're not going to really be of that much use. But we'll bring the uh, General round. We'll flank with the General, of course. Get there. Plates, get up. Astarte, let's go as well. You need to be on fire at will. And you archers, get here. Whatever happens, we'll bring the... Uh, General can do a good job coming all the way around, really. Mm, we're coming forward. That's fine by me. Away from the town square is better. Guys, uh... Do we want you to halt? Probably not yet. Bring you up here. Right there. 58. We might double uh, double them up here. Get into your phalanx formation. Get in them. Let's go down up this way, please. Via this way. Let's go after him. Need to just squish him in so he can't get a charge off because he will destroy us in a charge. Everyone get in there. You guys, I don't even know where we have you. Relatives, come round. Getting a good charge off on them. Fantastic. Uh, will you get in there, please? This hoplite will do some damage. Great gods be praised. That's the good. General is uh, don't fire that anymore. You might kill our own troops. Hoplite, Estati, come this way. You can get into the back of those skirmishes. It'd be awesome. What are you? Town militia. You should die very, very easily. Right. Generals. Let's get you around here. You guys, we can squish these guys in. Actually, generals, before you do that, army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Let's go. Should uh, kill all of them. Quick, generals, let's go. Generals, go. Starty, you stay there. Actually, you guys come around this way. You guys get there. 
get that good unit, big unit of Astarte in there. We'll be able to squish them. There it is, fantastic. Uh, okay, if you want to do that, you want to. They want to try and push through, but they're not going to be able to. Astarte should have a good little time. They're shaken already, and they're very tired. So continue because we need to kill this unit, these units. Let's get through. Oh God, slaughter! Fantastic. Oh God, that that volley of bloody uh, javelins, generals again. 151. Yeah, most of those routing has started. They're 48. Wow, and only one taken. Well done, guys. Fantastic. We have taken Lilybaum. They do have that one army on the peninsula, which we should probably go and destroy. Yes. And slave. Fantastic. They don't have a temple here either, which is good. That is a trash army. We still have enough troops to do it. Probably go with... We don't need Bellatays. Let's go then. Well, the final battle of the episode, I guess, guys. It should be over relatively quickly. So hopefully we don't lose any general just charging into peasants, eh? That's, uh, that can happen. <laughs> Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. There is no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared and you'll find bravery in your heart. Yes. Again, we are at the bottom of a hill, which is annoying, but... We're just going to fix their lines with our starty and charge with the back. That's the standard... Uh... Where are they? Oh, they're up here. Okay, fine. What's their general unit? I think is it... oh, it's Iberian infantry. The rest is town militia. That general's actually hidden. Right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Run. Get yourselves warmed up. Why would you change your... They're both the same unit, do you know? We can just charge that Iberian infantry and they will shred them. Why is one of you so far behind? Wait a sec. Yeah, one of you's tired now. Let's get up. Should be able to fire your javelins very soon. Oh, you were going to... Okay, I'm sorry. Go on then. Let's go. Charge these guys. That's the general. Rally so you don't get killed. That should be them all dead. That's them all broken, right? Alright, go on then. You guys get out. I'll just leave the generals to clean up this mess. Let's go. You guys get them. Nice. That should be more than 85. Yep. Fantastic. Yes, we have already won. Lost 16. Killed the rest of them. Ah, well. We've had every single type of battle, really, this episode. <laughs> We've had one that was very close. We haven't had a loss yet. That's good. That's that's the good thing. That's the main thing. But yeah, Carthage. They've probably emptied Carthage, getting uh, a lot of these troops out. What we'll do, we will send you back to Masana. Same with you guys. You guys can come back. I don't believe roads will be built right... Oh, they will be going to the port. So, I was going to build a watchtower, but... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Quintus got his body slave. A Byreem's located at the capital, so... And more ships. We do need some Byreem's, actually. So, good idea. 
let's uh, recruit Byreem there and a Plyreem there. We want more Equitate. Well, we're getting in Byreem, so we can't get the Equitates just yet. But yeah, we'll use those ships to ferry these guys over. We'll use these ships to ferry them over. But that will be all for next episode, guys. So thank you for watching my first episode in this brand new series. It's been going pretty nicely, apart from that one battle where we nearly died. It was very close. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.